Good. Now, our friend over here. We've got to make that. Now, just, oh, just here. Let's show you something else. This is another little problem we've got. We've got a hat there with the little flowers on them. I love those little flowers. So let's put them in. I'm going to start with just a little bit of pink. When I say they're flowers, I think, I think they're just sort of... Well, I don't know what they are, folks. I've got to be honest. I can't discern them. They look like petals of a flower. So I'm going to treat them like that. That was the 131. And now here we've got... One, one, eight, and then we also want just a spot or two of one nine two. It just gives you a little bit of extra dope. That's fine. And if we just want to make it just a little bit more, let me put a little bit of light, bit of white in there as well. That looks good. Now the reason I've done that is that I've got to go around them with my grey to start with because I'm going to make it. The top hat, so it'll be black. Already on the top of it, and now it needs to have the rest of it done. The reason I did that is you know, I wanted to test out the base colour and whether I need any more than just grey and black. And the answer is no, I don't. Grey and black will work. You don't put your fingers all over the picture. You bless these um, sheets of paper. Gosh, can you imagine the mess I'd be in. Now, now we've done that, we can look at it and think, does that work? Yes, I think it does. But the top hat has got a shine, and the shine is there. That's what makes it work. And it's the same. There'll be a little bit there. Now watch how, when I put the black on there, what a difference that makes. I think we've got to be just a slightly squarer than that. Got to be careful here. Now imagine if I'd forgotten to do that. I would never have got it in. I would have had to either rub the black out or it would have gone over the top. Now I'll do one side. First of all. Now this has got to be solid. And we want it to go around there like that. That shine side so let's go down the other end now. First time folks I've ever done one. serious it just means that I've got to take that's it that's better that was bugging me now you'd need to put black back on here again because once you blend you blend the grey and the, and the black together but you have to do that otherwise you won't get the effects now you see how that shine now really does look much smoother doesn't it dull agreed but smooth. So we come back in and now we can put and we don't want to make that too strong. I think probably just a 
that might be enough. And the black back in again. I don't know whether you're going to be able to pick this up on the screen, but when you put the black in after blending, it's a lot richer. And I hope you can pick that up. And this time you just come into that. You don't want to keep putting the light back in again. And I think that will be... That looks great. And the other side. When we come and put the background on that, it's going to look stunning. Just here, that because that black's in there, that's made that skin behind it just a little bit too light. And there we are. That's great. I think we always had a little touch of brown. There. And I think that is great. 